hunger amidst abundance you know if you're hungry you don't you don't need motivation you just go for it and hunger i just don't mean food huh? hunger is something which makes you drive yourself beyond what you ever thought you could do hunger is very no nonsense when you're hungry you don't think it's fair or unfair you're just hungry a day i'm consuming the next day of my life i would deep respect for that day i know ashish for many years now today is a sought after keynote speaker and wipro tcs you name it corporates really go behind him i do 10 to 12 events with him in a year he comes to so all this where does the energy come from ashish where do you come in every time i see you are super energy the super enthusiastic where does this come from hunger hunger my friend yeah hunger i mean for me it's very very simple it's hunger and 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 hunger is something which which you will not need your alarm for that and hunger i just don't mean food huh? mm. hunger is yeah, let's be very clear on that yeah, what hunger you're talking something something very visceral about it right you say that boss you know hunger shall i tell you something and I, i'll tell you something which is, is like being the devil's advocate you know if you're hungry you don't you don't need motivation you just go for it go for it yeah we need all that i do during my motivational talks is to let people know to get connected with their own hunger hunger and i call it hunger amidst abundance so i get it the people who are watching it are pretty much successful they got some things around fantastic yeah. congratulations good for you can you still have hunger because without hunger you're just going to be watching things and be impressed by people and then comment on them and uh, bring them down oh, that person is i didn't fight oh, oh. hunger is something which makes you drive yourself beyond what you ever thought you could do mm-hmm. and for me very clearly hunger is my driver i want to do some amazing films i want to do some amazing talks i want to do some amazing workshops you know through you uh, surend i kind of learned such a lot i'm an i'm a professional vidyarthi a professional learner and it's and in your name I'm, it's in your name you know and the vidyarthi is there in your name already yeah it's absolutely i kind of embedded it embedded it yeah. and 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 for me therefore that that hunger makes me learn because it, it, you see one of the things about hunger is that it it's a very no nonsense thing okay hunger is very no nonsense when you're hungry you don't think it's fair or unfair you're just hungry and 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 when you get food you don't think it's fair or unfair it's just food you just consume it yeah because you want to use it you want to really have it like anything and that's what i see that if we can see you know for me a day i'm consuming the next day of my life i would deep respect for that day you know i've, I've not been born by chance i've not been i i'm not alive by chance i'm like i'm like blessed that i'm here and if i am here it's up to me either i am kind of bored <laughs> yeah surin it is you know how it is did you read that whatsapp <laughs> it please yeah and then people forward me those whatsapp <laughs> yeah and tell me did you read it i said i'm going to block you now yeah so excitement is if you can connect yourself and you know uh, uh, surin uh, now i don't want to kind of but really you know like i'm so inspired when i see you and your entire team working there is this energy about you and okay and if i can turn that question to you you tell me my friend what what allows you to have that energy because not just in the energy in your day the energy that with with which you live your life and you must tell me this the people want to know at least i want to know def you i will come with ashish talks with suren and i'll do this conversation with you not today it's about you not about me <laughs> all okay. right because i know you i'm going to tell one aspect of it i don't know i don't even know whether you know this instant the first time you came to bangalore i had sent my staff to pick you up in the airport okay she came back very excited she said suren thank you for sending me to meet ashish i said what happened he came out met me and said before we start can we have a coffee and you took her to hatti coffee in Hattie bangalore coffee. airport yes. bought her a coffee and start asking about her yeah. getting to know about her she was super excited and i know this for a fact that you like conversing with people mm. conversing with common people and you observe a lot of common people mm. and you are extremely humble because i've seen a lot of celebrities 
So how did this quality happen for you? Because you're extremely connected, humble, mm. observe people. Can you tell me about this? Yeah. So, you know, there's something very uniquely you. There's something very uniquely me. Each person who's watching, there's something phenomenally you. Mm. You know, something which is so you that you can't even describe to someone. All right. And I think that each one of us, if we, if we can ever be in service of that extraordinary something which I love to do, there can be there can be no happier person. Mm. So, Surin, so I've I've always loved people. I've just loved being with people. You know, I just love people. <laughs> in Hindi, we say, "Bhot gapiana pasand hai." I just love to chat with people. A lot of friends, okay, like amazing friends I have. I just love to be with them. Like I love to bring a smile. Always, not like a favor. I just enjoy. It. Love to eat with them. And like spend time. When I became an actor, very quickly I used to, I started getting signals from people. They saying that uh, now you should not be talking in this particular way. Um, is this uh, you know you keep some distance from some people because <laughs> now you're reaching some place. And, and to be honest. For a bit, I said, okay, I've now become an actor. Now let me play it completely. So I was also, uh, <laughs> uh, anybody, uh, you know, the voice suddenly changing. You know, <laughs> what that happened? I did go through that and I discovered that I was doing it and I was not being myself. In fact, I was being like so many people around me. So I was just being, being like others. You know, I've seen a lot of successful people and I will tell this to you, Surin. Have you noticed that they all talk the same? Yep. Behave yep. the same. It's like one ilk. Yep. They talk the same. And somehow it I I I got that, you know what? I am become I've become an actor, which I love to do. I'm yep. So super excited. But I'm so super unhappy because I'm behaving in a way in which I'm not supposed to. Mm. And and that came just I'm, I'm lucky. It didn't last too long because I stuck got it. I said, I will be what I really like to be. And the, the question of humility and humble, these are all words that people put, they, they're attributes that people see you as. For me, I just love to chat with people, love to have a coffee with somebody. And you know, Gapiana, so what's happening? Tell me, where, where, where are you from? Okay, all right. And something, and each one of them gives some extraordinary things to me. So I, I thought that when I was no one, when no one knew me, when I was just an actor who was just somehow just wanting to get work, when all this was available to me, why, when I have become an actor, when people know me, why should I give up things that I really love? You know, and I just, you know, I just got back to me and I said that um, I will be an amazing actor and they will say that, wow, you're a phenomenal actor, but it will not take me. Therefore, you know, this entire game of the celebrity, I think it's a very, very dangerous thing that, uh, you know, uh, people, Put on us. You're a celebrity. It's like, you know, <laughs> there's a hanger like this and they put you on that. You're a celebrity. And therefore, you can't do this. I remember a few years back, uh, quite a few years back, uh, I was working in Bangalore. Again, a story of Bangalore. And we were working in a firm and uh, the hero there, a very kind person, and he asked me, uh, so Ashish, what, what do you like to eat? I said, I just love the um, Vidyarthi Bhavan dosa. Mm. He said, oh, uh, Garish, uh, just get some dosa for sir. I said, I, I, I go there and eat early morning, phenomenal. No, 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 you can't go there. I'll just get, uh, just send it. I said, no, yeah, I want to go and eat it because I've not become so big that the person who's going to get the dosa for me, he's going to eat a hot dosa. <laughs> it's a what dosa? Three, three pack for a big person there, one dosa. So he will have hot, tasty dosa. And because I'm very big, I'll get a loose. <laughs> so, you know, when I got that, my friend, I said, so in my life, very simply, when I'm normal with people, when I can just chat, yeah, I make more friends, I get to do more things, more people are kind to me, more people are real with me, nothing more richer than that for me. And therefore, it makes a lot of sense to be you. Yeah. So whatever is you, just, just be that. And because remember one thing, Surin, you know that we don't get paid for our attitude, right? Yeah. We, yep. we just get paid for the work that we do. So if you can be really good at what you do and have an amazing attitude, it's, it's like a Yahoo Yahoo thing.